Okay, let's explore this net cash flow problem. Here's what it says. XY, XYZ Manufacturing buys materials on credit at the start of each month and pays in 30 days. They also sell on credit, bill customers at the beginning of the month, and receive payment 30 days later. Using the table, what's the net cash flow from purchases and sales for the month? All right, so let's do cash inflows first. Okay, if they bill customer at the beginning of the month, they get payment in the next month. So that means sales billed in January will be collected in February. So we'll just grab that cell and copy that there for March. Now, we could also calculate it for April, right? But the problem's not asking us to solve that one, but we certainly could do that. Next, we're going to look at cash outflows. What does it say? It buys material on credit at the start of the month and pays for it in 30 days. Same thing. So if it bought the material January for 40000 but paid for it in February, we're going to show the cash outflows here. Now, I'm going to show that as a negative number just so we can add the two rather than subtracting. But you could solve it either way, right? And I'm going to copy this and copy this. And we really don't need the formatting of the dollar sign since we have it on the first cell. So if we were to calculate the net cash inflows, I'll just underline all of these, we would take the sum of the lines above, cash outflows and the inflows. And this question wants to know what was the value in March. Now we could actually calculate it for all three months, but the one they're looking for is that. I'll bold that for you. It's $40,000. That's how you solve this net cash inflow problem.